Good morning, candidates. This is balance sheet analysis uh, discussion. Generally, to start a business, what one requires and what bank will finance. Bank provides term loans for fixed assets, plant and machinery, land and buildings. Bank provides OCC, that is open cash credit, for against the stocks, raw materials, work in process, finished goods and book debts. Before approaching the bank, analyze what amount we require for fixed asset and raw material work in process, finished goods and also against book debts. Items, description land and building, plant and machinery, a raw material, a work in progress, and then book debts in total. So let the land and building estimation be 40 lakhs, plant and machinery 40 lakhs. Yeah. Mm. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm just. Yeah, then um, raw materials 20, work in progress 20, finished goods 40, book debts 40, total of these asset side is 120 and fixed assets 80, total now comes to 200. Next one, now approach the bank and ask for assistance. Bank asks for a margin of 25% generally on any loans. Bank asked to put margin, margin of 25% in lakhs, fixed assets 20 lakhs, then current assets 30 lakhs, so total 50 lakhs, total 50 lakhs. Now we need bank finance, capital is 50 lakhs, then for FA margin 20, then CA margin 30, Fixed assets 80, land and building, plant and machinery. Then current liabilities, raw material 20 comes to 120, bank OCC 80, and then creditors 10. Now analyze now how much bank can finance. This is the picture available. Analyze how much a bank can finance. This is the picture available now. Capital is 50, term loan is 60, then bank OCC 80, then creditors 10. Total is 200. Balance sheet is tallied and preparation is almost over. Now we will give technical names to the items we have shown in the balance sheet. The first one is capital, second one fixed assets, third one here current liability and here it is current asset. See what is CL and CA, current liability and current assets. Long term sources, capital is a long term source that is fixed asset margin is 20, then current account margin is 30. So totally um, term loan for that 60. So short term short. So term loan will be long term sources. Then short term sources will be 90. Bank OCC 80 and then credit cards 10. Short term sources is 90. Short term here this current account current assets is 120. Here it comes to 80, London building. Okay. Now, what is the networking capital? How bank will calculate networking capital? Current assets minus, current assets mean raw material, work in process, stock and book debts, minus current liability, bank, OCC or creditor. In simple terms, Borrower money brought in for purchase of current asset 
is net working capital. In this problem, it works out to 30. Net working capital means current asset minus current liabilities. That is equal to net working capital 120 minus 90, 30. Net working capital means short term use. That is short term source 120 minus 90. That is equal to 30. Long term sources capital 50, fixed assets 80. Then uh, LTS is term loan is 60. Then LTU, long term source, long term use, it is 80, that is equal to 30. Current, current assets 120, current liability 90, 30. Yeah. Next one, how much is current ratio? How much is current assets a firm is having to clear current liabilities at any eventuality? Current ratio is the ratio CA by CL. Let us calculate. Therefore, here it is 120 by 90. Please see this slide. Stop the video. See, it is now 1.33. How to approve? How to arrive at TOL and TNW, total net worth, ratio of total loans, OCC, term loan, creditor, or any loans to tangible net worth. Example one, bank asked to bring 25%, therefore, loan will be 75%. Bank loan 75%, margin 25%. Therefore, we can say, TOL by TNW is equal to 3 is to 1 if 25 margin is brought. If bank says 20% margin, bank can give 80%. Ratio has come down to 80 is to 20 is equal to 4 is to 1. 4 is to 1. That is borrowing is more. TOL by TNW is the ratio. Please go through. Please go through this. It will come to 3 by 1. So now liabilities, capital, term liabilities, current liabilities. Please stop the video and go through the other items. Fixed assets, non-current assets. Then investment in subsidiary companies, deferred receivables, loans, advances, current assets, then intangible assets, preliminary and pre-operative expenses, accumulated losses, goodwill and patents, bad or doubtful debts not provided for. Thank you. This is a material prepared by a Canada Bank friend, Mr. Ravi Kumar. I thank him for this preparation. Best wishes. Mm -hmm.